everyone, and welcome back to Cat Hotel, the absolutely adorable little game from Trivio, which we have been enjoying so much. I am so surprised that you guys came out with such resounding support for Cat Hotel, so thank you all so, so much for that. I have to admit, it is probably one of my favorite games from the little set that they have produced, and I mean, just look at how beautifully animated this cat is. Look at that gorgeous cat! Who could resist such a beautiful creature? But today, I thought we'd just spend a little bit more time kind of exploring what the game has to offer, kind of enjoying ourselves, seeing how we can make the kitties happy playing with all the smashy games. I mean, look at that, look at that. I love that we put actual vases up there for the cats to smash, and I have seen that there have been a few updates for it. So I wanted to check out what those updates might be. So let's take a peek over here. Looks like it's mostly being able to buy some new decorations and things like that. We have a cool fireplace. We have some pretty cool plants. I always approve of some nice plants. We could always buy some more. Oh, did you hear the little kitty? He's meowing. We'll have to check out what that's about in just a minute. Oh my gosh. And you guys were totally right. This is so Dolores Umbridge's sort of like decorations, the painted little, what do you call those things? Like the ceramic plates that are painted with little kitties on them. Totally Dolores Umbridge. So it was really cute to see you guys be like, it's Dolores, it's Dolores from Harry Potter. Oh goodness, it looks like we can actually change like a lot of things. Put down some new carpeting change up the colors a little bit. We'll probably be messing with this in just a bit, but let's see. How on earth, what are all the updates then? I want to see all of the fancy updates. That's not what we do. That's not what we do. Um, would it be cat boxes then that we have access to? Oh, look at this. It's like automatic feeder ones. I wonder if these... We need two stars to be able to get it, but I wonder if you can just like put down some automatic food and water now. That's pretty cool. Is there- oh, There's little automatic litter cleaning things! Oh, we need to buy that! That would be so awesome! Automatic litter box for the win! We'll have to do that. Lots of little cat box, um, like little spots for them to rest. Okay. What else do we have? Playroom. Uh, we've got the fancy cake. I got the- I accidentally bought the uh, absolutely adorable little fruit set, so it looks like that does something new. This does something new too. I wonder what this symbol means. We'll have to figure it out. Look at all this stuff for the playroom! What is all of this? There's like a bridge! There's fancy- oh my gosh, look at this. The cats can knock this down. That's amazing. You can give them like expensive, expensive things to knock down now. That is so cute! You can change up how the playroom looks. I remember that. We can put plants in there. Gotta love those plants. And then medical room. Okay, that's the one that has some new things. Whoa. Okay. There's lots of new stuff for the medical room. That is so cool. Well, we always want to have like really good medications and everything. We can't afford it right now. But it's very important to have good medications for our kitties. And by the way, thank you guys so much for everybody who was super excited about the idea of doing a cat hotel type thing in Sims 3. Still not sure how that would work, but it is definitely on our plate now. I'm definitely going to be thinking about doing that for sure. You guys giving all of your support in the comments really helps me figure out where we go next because there's so many animal games to play. And if you guys have more suggestions, you can leave those too. And we're going to find out all the cool stuff. All right, so there's still like, it says there's still like 88 new things. I think we've seen, is it like the coins? Is that what it's trying to tell me? It's like, hey, 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 spend money, spend money, get coins. Well, we're gonna not spend money to get our coins. We're gonna earn it the legitimate way by taking good care of our kitties. So we have three days left with this cat, Zorro. Zorro, look at you. Let's give you some food and water. There you go, your litter box is already clean. Look at those big blue eyes, oh my gosh. All right, Zorro. All right, Zoro hasn't gotten enough exercise recently. The Kent family wants to make sure you play with Zoro a lot. Wonderful, so Zoro needs a little bit of grooming and wants to have some fun. A rag doll, oh, so pretty. And Zoro's favorite thing to do is smash the pots. Guess what, Zoro, that's my favorite thing to do too. Let you just destroy those vases, it's awesome. And then we need to clean one more litter box and we get a reward from our really awesome Dolores Umbridge's niece, sort of a caretaker here. I forgot what her name is, but she She's adorable. She's kind of scary at the same time too, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and start the day with smashing some stuff for fun. Hello, my beautiful ragdoll cat. All right, so we want two vases and a piggy bank. All right, what do you think of all this? Is this what you were looking for? Oh, look at that happy kitty. Just crush, smash. Look, you can even see a little pile of dust that comes up. Why is this so funny to me? I don't know. It'd be cute if you could see like a penny fly up after he destroys that one. 
He's like, yeah, this is the best. Watch me destroy everything. Okay, I'm gonna reach over here and just casually, there we go, all done. Oh, you're so cute, Zoro. Yeah, he knows he's cute, look at him. All right, wonderful. So we had a good time completing the smashing game. Used up a little bit of energy, but that should give him a little bit more fun. And then let's have him do, let's see, what's your, what's your fun level at now? Oh, it's increasing, it's increasing. Let's have him do the laser pointer, because I think the laser pointer is pretty fun. Dun, dun. Oh, look, there's a ball, there's a ball. Let's get the ball, Zoro. I know you're not a dog, but like, it's just so fun. All right, let's come over, get this. All right, let's whip around here. I wonder if their fun increases depending on how many you can get them to do. Come on, Zoro, come on. Good, good, good. Up here, up here, up here. Good job. All right, oh, there's a box, there's a box. Get the box, Zoro. You can do it. Oh my goodness, good job. You need the exercise, apparently. So come on. We've got this. We've got this. We're going to have some fun. All right, 0.7 seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Look at us go. Look at us go. Oh, Zoro, Zoro. Another thing. I think 13 is like our record. Oh, over here, Zoro. Over here. Ball. Oh, 11. All right. Well, that was still pretty good. I really like the laser pointer, too. Look at him go. He's just spinning in circles now. There you go, Zoro. Now what do you think? All right, a little bit better. He clearly didn't enjoy it as much as the Smashy Thing game, though. So let's go ahead and do the Smashy Thing game again. But yeah, we'll do Cat Hotel every now and then, just as a fun little playful way to spend some time together, my friends. Playing with cats. And I would love, love, love if you guys would share some of your amazing cat stories in the comments below, because I love hearing all of the animal stories. That's what we're about for the Pixel Biology community. Right, Zoro? Look at him go. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I don't think our cats have ever destroyed anything. We've had a lot of cats in my life, but I don't think they've ever destroyed anything. Um, yeah, not nothing valuable that I can think of, but my dog, our great Dane, ate the sofa once, and she also ate my journal once, my leather journal that was super special to me. So those, those things both sucked. Um, let's see, how's Zoro now? Getting pretty tired. But the fun is almost maximum. I think we'll go ahead and let Zoro sleep for the day, though. And we might end up with another cat tomorrow. All right, Zoro, it is snooze time. Enjoy, enjoy, bask about and all the things you have to do. We're going to clean your litter box in the morning and apparently make my boss really happy. Oh, look at the kitties. Look at all these kitties. They're so happy. Nero! Oh, you're named after, like, a very tough Roman senator. Or, like, Caesar? Czar? I can't remember. We'll figure it out. All right. Nero always gets bored really quickly. Miss Carpenter currently doesn't have time to play much and is asking you to do it. All right, so we have two very bored, beautiful cats. Hello, how are you, my friend? Doing pretty good on health? Favorite thing is the laser pointer, another Maine Coon. So many dark Maine Coons. I'm used to seeing the tabby Maine Coons, so this is kind of fun. All right, so we're going to take good care of this beautiful Maine Coon. Got it, got it. Go ahead. We've got three days with this beautiful Nero, too. There you go, my dear. And you need to be groomed as well. But let me go ahead and come over here. We're going to clean this litter box really quickly. Because we're going to get our boss so happy. We're going to complete that task. Ta-da! Yay! Is she going to, like, reward me? Yeah, look at that. Job complete. We've given the cats water and food and cleaned their litter box. So she's going to give me some money, right? Yeah, look at all that money. We're getting closer to that automatic litter box anytime now. You've completed all of your tasks for today. I'll be giving you new ones soon. All right, thank you. So probably tomorrow. Look at this handsome cat. I swear, Zoro just has like the ragdoll pose of elegance to him. So let's go ahead. We're going to groom both of them really quickly because they do need a little bit of grooming. Yep, just a teensy bit of grooming needed and a teensy bit of fun. So let's see if we can make these cats pretty happy. All right, off to the groomers. All right, and we've got our cheap care set. It looks so, so sketchy. It's like, where did you dig that up? Is that just like some flour? I feel like we just have some flour that we've shoved into a, a little can there and stuck a post-it note on it. That's pretty much what it looks like. What the heck? Why would you even need to use magic dust on your cat? But I'm not going to question it. They seem to enjoy it. There we go. We're going to brush it. Look at all this fur fly. There you go, beautiful. We'll get you all tidied it up, and here's your treat for being so good, Zoro. There you are. And we'll go play, and we'll make you super duper happy. We should get that done pretty soon. All right, and I want my new tasks, too. All right, let's take Zoro over to play. And we'll do smashy thing game really quickly. 
Oh, look at how, how happy he is. He's like, yes. And we want a ducky, a fruit bowl, and the piggy bank. Look at him. <laughs> Why are you so cute? But yeah, our Great Dane as a puppy ate our sofa. She chewed it up. She just started, I think, maybe chewing it because dogs chew on things, especially when they're little and losing their puppy teeth. And well, she wasn't very little because Great Danes at that age are still about the size of like a normal Labrador. Uh, so she was pretty big. She was pretty big and we came home and she had been really good in the house for like months And we just looked and she had gotten into the stuffing of the couch and pulled it all out So yeah, she destroyed our couch. <laughs> that was pretty exciting. All right grooming is up. Oh, what's this? We need to groom you a little bit more Zoro. Well, we can definitely do that tomorrow Because he's still with us for another day. So there's Zoro and then let's come over here and really quickly, come on kitty kitty. Hi Nero. Hello handsome cat. Really quickly we'll groom Nero. And then we'll be done for the day pretty soon and we'll just have to see what tasks we have. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Cat Hotel and have lots of kitty stories of your own. I really enjoy these games and I miss being able to play our animal rescue game. That one is probably... I will admit it's probably my favorite because you get to like help the animals find new homes and you guys shared so many awesome stories about the animals that you have and the homes that you were able to give rescue animals but it just doesn't work on my computer anymore so sad maybe one day maybe one day all right there we go so there's Nero's grooming is that good enough oh we're gonna have to groom Nero again tomorrow too and let's go ahead and play with him really quickly all right, and we'll go ahead and grab our little laser pointer. And look at that big fluffy tail. All right, Nero, let's see what you can do. Oh, here's a box, here's a box. Quick, turn around, turn around, turn around. Come over here. There's the ball. Oh, boy. I I overestimated, like, how far things would be. Oh, they're so far apart. Why are they so far apart? All right, there's the ball. Come on, Nero, come on. We can do this. There's the box. All right, turn, 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 turn. Oh, beautiful cat. I really love that tail. It's just so pretty. There we go. And it was so fun to see how many of you guys shout out for all of you who have Ming Coons and Ragdolls in the comments because, oh my goodness, we had so many people who have had Ming Coons. Oh, he got 11. He got 11. Good job. So I wonder if because this is his favorite thing and he knocked over 11 things, if that means his fun goes up faster? I think it does. All right, let's play with them one more time with the laser pointer and then we'll call it a day so that we can see what tasks we end up with tomorrow. All right, because even though the cats have more energy, we might end up with a task that asks us to like play with them or groom them. And so it would be very useful if we're still stuck with the cats for a couple more days. Not that we don't mind having you guys here, kitty witties. Kitty witties, oh my gosh. Um, all right, let's get this. Ah, there's a box. Die, box, die. There's another box. We got it. Here's another box. Oh, go Nero. You're on this. All right, there's another one. And let's whip around. All right, come on, come on, come on. Ball, there we go. And we're going, we're going, we're going. Sweet. And let's turn, turn, turn. You've got this, you've got this. Boom. Ah, 12 objects. Not bad at all. But yeah, since they're still with us, then we might as well just keep them. All right, energy's down. Fun is almost maximum. Keep them and let them do something for tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and call it a night then so they can get some rest and an advertisement pops up. Oh, gosh. Good morning. Your new task is to make cats cozy and satisfy their owners. Wonderful. Redecorate both bowls in a cat box. Cats cared for to complete satisfaction and earn 200 coins by making the owners happy. Well, that's pretty easy. See what I mean? Oh, my goodness. Are you guys fighting? What on earth was that? I have no idea what that means. Okay, redecorate both bowls in a cat box. So let's come over to the other area. I'm gonna scoop the litter here really quickly. And then I guess that means to come over and bowls, redecorate the bowls. Um, can I use this one? Ah, they're gonna make me buy a new one. All right, well, we'll get this one. And we'll get this one. Bah, making me spend my money. All right, and then let's see. There's that one. And there's that one. And that should count as redecorating the bowls, I think. Pretty sure. 
so let's back up. Did that count as redecorating the bowls? Yay, it did! And then cats cared for to complete satisfaction. Well, let's go ahead. We might as well just finish up really, really quickly. So Zoro, let's whip you off. Look at him. He's so slow. You have to kind of go at a cat's pace, though. Especially at a cat hotel. You know what I mean? Zoro's like, okay, I'm ready to play. All right, we'll finish up with Zoro and Nero for the day. And see if we can get them happily sent home. And let's see. Fruit, teacup, piggy bank. Happily sent home and making their owners quite happy. There you go. He's like, yeah. Not oh, look at that. Perfect lollipop throwing action right there. Good job, kitty kitty. But yeah, we've had a lot of pets. I think our Quaker parrot is probably the one who caused the most problems for us. Because she would try to like bite you. And when a bird bites you, it hurts really, really badly. I've been bit by like snakes, birds, dogs, cats, you name it. Cats and dogs scare you more when they bite you, I think. Because I don't usually expect it. But when a bird bites you, it just hurts. It's just painful. All right, Zoro, look at you. Your fun is complete. We just need to get Zoro groomed up. We need to get Nero groomed up. Oh, gosh. All right, well, we'll see how quickly we can do that. All right, we'll go super fast. Super duper fast. But yeah, I miss playing our little animal rescue games. I miss our animal rescue role play in Minecraft. Oh, it'd be so nice to have Twin Bark Town back. It just was a different kind of work, that's for sure. All right, let's get all of our flour. Look at it just fly everywhere, this magic powder. Oh gosh. And we might not be able to get Nero done today, but that's okay. There you go, buddy. And treat. And we're done. There you go, Zoro. We can at least get you sent off to your mom today. All groomed up and happy and well fed. And we'll pop over here. All right, maybe we could get Nero done really quickly. He really doesn't have a lot left. So I just feel bad like leaving him right before we get everything done. So let's have him play really quickly with the laser pointer because I have a feeling he'll just dash all over the place. Nero, N N Nero. Oh my gosh, you really have to kind of wait for them. Nero, come here. Come on, Nero. Oh my goodness, Nero. Nero. <laughs> He's just taking his time. That's so funny. All right. There you go. Nero? What? Okay. Okay. Nero apparently doesn't want to go anywhere, you guys. Come on, Nero. Do you want to do you want to do you want to be groomed? Do you want to be groomed? Yeah? Play with the laser pointer? Yeah? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So let's get get this done really quickly. Boom boom boom. Two, one, go. There we go. All right, box, ball. We're on this ball. We've got this, you guys. We've got this. Have you guys ever taught your cat how to fetch? Because my sister actually had a cat uh, who would fetch and it was the most amazing thing ever. And I think like I would have cats who would definitely come when they were called. And that alone to me is a victory in cat training. Because cats kind of do what they want, but I've always liked that about them. I'm probably, I probably used to be more of a cat person than a dog person. And then I kind of got into dogs. And then I kind of got into birds. And now, is there, is there like a bird hotel? Because I would totally, I would totally be busy with bird hotel. Oh my goodness. All right, so that is now done. There you go, handsome fellow. We're going to whisk you off. Whisk you off to get groomed. And then we will be done We'll be able to hopefully afford a better care set so I can get a not chipped up brush. Get these guys taken care of a little bit better. There we go. That seems to be the magic spot right in the middle there. Wonderful. Oh yeah, look at that. So if you stay kind of in the middle, that seems to be most effective. There we go. Brush our little kitty and give him a treat. Good job. Good job, Nero. Lots of Maine Coons. This town really likes Maine Coons. All right, and there we go, you guys. So let's see what the owners think. Now that that is done, we'll go ahead. Zoro's ready to go home. Wow, Zoro looks so agile and fit. Thank you. Yay. So Zoro's happy. He's fully taken care of. Another little ad. We'll just ignore that. And Kimba is joining us. Lethargic and sluggish lately. Wants Kimba to have a bit of fun and excitement. On it. We're on it. All right, we just got to examine Kimba really quickly. Everything good? Yeah, well-being and fun need taken care of. Okay, and it's American short hair. 
So there we go. So Kimba has come to join us. We're working our way up to hopefully gaining another star pretty soon. We just need to go ahead and send home the handsome Nero. And other than that, yeah, there's cats. Uh, how do we get another star? Whoops. Sorry, boss. Didn't mean to bug you. And the next star ooh, is when we have 1,000 coins to be able to spend. So we'll try that out again in the future. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and have enjoyed a little bit of Cat Hotel. If you guys are interested in us trying to figure out how to make that work in Sims 3, or if you're familiar with Sims 3 and have some ideas, let me know. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.